Woohoo! And good morning, everybody. Uh, A3K and I are just heading out of Anaheim. We're gonna be heading back probably later today. The boys are gonna go to Roscoe's probably the last time that Roscoe's will be open as we're out in this area. I mean, I don't know their actual closing date, and we live close enough that we could just come anytime we feel like. Yeah, it's not, it's not a far drive. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it, it's not a desperate mission. Um, but it was officially one year ago today. I posted my first video on YouTube, uh, or on this channel. So now, let's kick off uh, year number two, shall we? Well, first it's going to be a drive home, probably a little traffic, a uh, shower, yoga, breakfast. <laughs> so we are just about getting ready to get on the freeway. Got a little turned around. Andrew's not familiar with Anaheim. I'm not familiar with Anaheim. Uh, so we're just kind of touring Anaheim. We <laughs> are just like noticing well, I, we've noticed before, but we're just talking about how it's so spotless in Anaheim. It is so well maintained. It's like living in an Apple store. Uh, everything's just precise and clean and nice and... No trash. The homeless population is insane in Anaheim. Yeah. Like, rivals Hollywood, downtown LA. Well, it's, they want to be happy. Yeah, I mean, it. It is the, the happiest place on earth. No graffiti, everything's clean, precise. Look at these palm trees. That Look at that. cleaning right now. <laughs> oh, was there a guy cleaning? Yeah. 24 seven, it has to be, I wonder what their, their maintenance oh, they like, pay. Yeah. yard is. Like, it probably has to be huge. It's unbelievable. But we are just getting ready to leave. And here's, here's, the front of Disneyland. Yeah. Oh yeah, it is, huh? This is the original entrance to Disneyland. Oh shit. Do you go to Disneyland? Or I used to. I used to have an annual pass, but. Oh really? Yeah, that was like four years ago. I stopped going. Okay. I don't know about going two thousand days in a row, but we just you just read that five years a guy comes every day. No. What would you do though? Because for me, I'm not. You gotta I, get over it at some point, right? Yeah, I love theme parks and stuff like that, but like. Two or three days in a row, you spend a day at one park, a day at the other park, or something like that. Like, I well, this guy have money? Yeah. Like, what do you do? How do you eat and afford to get in there? And parking, you have to pay for parking. You've got to. Well, you probably pay for, for food. The, you probably got one of those annual passes with no blackouts and um, like with parking and. How, how much do you think one of those? Are oh, on? that's probably a thousand bucks, easy. Straight off the top. Straight huh? up, yeah. Oh my god. Uh, Look at all those shuttles, man. Just an unbelievable amount of people just flow into here. It's just making money, baby. Non-stop. And like, do you feel that you're desensitized to all of this because we're from Southern California? I think so. Oh, I gotta go one more. Fuck. For sure. Like, people are like dreaming of like, oh, Hollywood. What's Hollywood like? I'm like, I don't know. It's fucking dirty. I don't, it's, yeah. <laughs> it's not like... <laughs> I'm desensitized because it's here. I'm sure there's a lot of glitz and glamour, but it's also romanticized and not that great. Guardians of the Galaxy ride, if for those of you interested, looks amazing from the outside. I, it's cool. I, I hope it uh, it comes out. I, I dug the Hollywood Tower of Terror, truthfully. Uh, yeah, me too. Truthfully, I'm kind of sad that that's gone. The ride itself was great, but the ambiance of when yeah. you first walk in there was amazing. It was like a... a uh, um, haunted Mansion, but for California Adventure. It sucks because I think Disneyland isn't di like Disney like it was before. Like, there's no adventure land. Instead of, invent instead of building a new frontier land or New Orleans Square, they're building a Star Wars land. Like, I feel like Walt Disney would not want a Star Wars land inside Disneyland. Yeah, but... You want to keep it Mickey Mouse. And you, think, you think that th that's more of the money side? Oh, for sure, okay. dude. Because okay. it's going to make bazillions. What do we do for the last few days? Stay in a hotel room. <laughs> yeah, pretty <laughs> much. Go outside. No. We <laughs> Walked to Denny's once. We jumped from hotel room to hotel room. <laughs> uh, yeah, and got trashed. We didn't see the sunshine. We didn't need the sunshine. No. I Right now it hurts. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. That's that update. Let's go home. Feels real nice uh, being home. Ah, uh, totally smudged on my camera, huh? We have to take care of that in a second. Um, loving, loving being home right now. I'm feeling extremely, extremely dehydrated. But God, did I have a good time. Big shout out to A3K for getting my ass home. Saved a $30 Uber. 
And I didn't want to support Uber anyways. Hello everybody. Oh, as you can see uh, from the beautiful view back there. Not bad, not bad at all. I just woke up a couple minutes ago. It has been, those two days were rough. I'm gonna stay home tonight, get some editing done, just enjoy a quiet night at home. Like, I really, really don't drink that much. So to spend the last two days just completely, I know that today's video probably gonna be on the shorter end of things. I did sleep half this day away. I walked in the door at like 11.30, almost noon, and I slept up until about 6 p.m. Uh, and now it's almost 9 and this entire day is gone. By the time you guys see this, I'm gonna be a few days behind. Been posting every other day so far. Hope you guys have been enjoying that schedule. Now I know it doesn't make sense because VidCon is consecutive days and these are coming up every other day. Are you following me here? But I hope you guys have been enjoying these VidCon adventures. I hope you guys enjoy all the reviews and the challenges that are gonna be coming up. It was a very slow start. Usually day, you know, like night one, everyone just goes hard. It's 100%, uh, lots of drinking, lots of challenges, lots of filming, and, and night one was pretty calm compared to previous years. Didn't even finish off uh, that video properly. I think I woke up this morning and realized that like I never had an outro. Got to meet a lot of cool people and this year is I've gotten to, to connect on so much more of a personal level with all of these people that we're hanging out with. Not a whole lot of hustle and bustle, we're not moving a thousand miles an hour, things are a little bit calmer, a little bit more my speed. Alright, so I got a question for you guys. Uh, since I'm just going to be spending the night at home, nobody's here, my son went with my mom, so it's just me and you tonight. If you guys watched day one of VidCon, what do you guys think? Um, I'm currently in the process of putting the past two days together. I think I'm gonna go no music in episode 77. Try something a little bit different. Let me know what you guys have uh, thought about that. Now I know that this is two episodes ago, so go back and check it out if you haven't. But let me know what you guys think about an episode with no music. Mm. So fresh it's steamed up the camera lens. I'm gonna call it dinner. Throw some taco sauce on it, call it a day. It's like almost midnight now. Um, I am thinking about going out there, but I have to give myself the next eight hours to uh, try and rest the best I can. But we're gonna be heading back down to Anaheim in the morning. Still haven't gone to the convention center. I would like to at least walk up to it and see what's going on. I don't have a badge, none of us got badges. But like, this is probably gonna be a uh, fairly short entry. I'm not even 100% sure like how much I filmed today, but I've gotta wrap this up. We will go ahead and continue this in the next entry. Thank you guys very, very much for watching, and uh, I'll see you soon.